In today's show, small-time investors achieve the one Bitcoin dream as Bitcoin holds the $20,000 range. Quoting a couple of new whole coiner plebs here, I'm hoping in the future I can treat it more like rich people treat real estate and take loans out against it. Then as it appreciates, just pay off the old loan with the new one. Boom. Tax-free income. And quoting another whole coiner here, I was able to catch the falling knife and buy enough to get me over the finish line. This was not an easy feat. I'm just an ordinary guy with an ordinary life. And as pointed out here, this just in, Bitcoin exchange balance is now the lowest since 2018. And quoting Dennis Porter, when Bitcoin hits $10 million, we'll all wonder why anyone complained about the drop to 21K. And Plan B updates us here. Capitulation. Bitcoin sellers realized negative 25 billion loss in June, similar to November 2018, January 2015, and September 2011. And quoting Max Kaiser here, Bitcoin at $69,000 was telegraphing a huge inflation spike. The Bitcoin pullback to 18000 was telegraphing the collapse of DeFi. The rally to new all-time highs is now telegraphing a major sovereign, acquiring a 300000 Bitcoin position. Also in today's show, billionaire Shamath P issues crypto warning and predicts the industry honeypots will be exposed. Quoting him here from a recent interview, if they really want to find the honeypots here, it's the worst kept secret in crypto. How much insider trading is going on amongst the organizations that run the exchanges and their side pockets that they use to manage the liquidity? I mean, this is the biggest thing that's been happening in crypto. Also in today's show, analysts who nailed May 2021 Bitcoin collapse unveils a massive Bitcoin price target, as Dave the Wave shares here. Who's to say we don't get something like this? And in this chart, it shows you Bitcoin going on a sustained rally to $260,000 by 2026. Also in today's show, former crypto billionaire insists Bitcoin will soar to $250,000 within the next 18 months. Quoting the Binance CEO CZ here, legendary Tim Draper bought lots of Bitcoin at around $650, and they will say, easy come, easy go to him. Now when it's $21,000, actually his Bitcoins dropped to $200 at one point, and people were laughing at him then. Who's laughing now? Also in today's show, we'll be taking a look at the overall crypto market and discussing where the Bitcoin price is likely to go next. All this, plus so much more, in today's show. Here come the news alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button. That's right, and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. And don't forget to check out the crypto news alert shorts. I drop a new shorts video every day. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy in the comments. Now check it. Ever since early Bitcoin investors woke up millionaires as the ecosystem gained tremendous popularity alongside the mainstream of the internet, investors across the globe have been in a rush to accumulate as many of the 21 million Bitcoin one Satoshi at a time. With Bitcoin recently trading at the $20,000 range for the first time since 2020, small-time investors found a small window of opportunity to achieve their dream of owning at least one BTC. On June 20th, Cointelegraph reported that the number of Bitcoin wallet addresses containing one Bitcoin or more has increased by 13,091 in just seven days. So congratulations to all the new whole coiners. Now, while the total number of addresses holding one Bitcoin saw an immediate reduction in the days to come, the crypto community on Reddit continues to welcome the new crypto investors that hodled their way into becoming a whole coiner. Now, Redditor Arbalist22, who shared the above screenshot, revealed it took him around $35,000 in total to accumulate late one BTC over several months since February 14th of 2021 and showing further support for the Bitcoin ecosystem. The Redditor aims to continue procuring Satoshis or sats until he accumulates over two BTC. And he stated he started purchasing Bitcoin from crypto exchange Coinbase, but later started using Strike owing to the lower fees, sharing a peek into his future plans, sharing the following. I'm hoping in the future I can treat it more like rich people, treat real estate and take loans out against it. Then as it appreciates, just pay off the old loan with the new New one, boom, tax free income. And following suit, another Redditor, user Evening Main 5860, posted about being able to buy one Bitcoin after largely following a dollar cost averaging strategy, wherein they regulatory bought smaller amounts of Bitcoin over a longer period of time. Quoting him here, I was able to catch the falling knife and buy enough to get more over the finish line. This was not an easy feat. I'm just an ordinary guy with an ordinary life. So congrats again to all the new whole coiners. And in this chart brought to you by Glassnode, you can see the number of wallet addresses owning at least 
fees, one BTC. And between June 15th and June 25th, the total number of Bitcoin wallet addresses holding more than one BTC grew by 873, according to Glassnode data. And while falling Bitcoin prices are seen by many as an investment opportunity, Google search trends highlighted the tendency of other investors to speculate about its demise. As Alex Kruger points out here, Google searches for Bitcoin dead hit all-time highs over the weekend. Now, the Google search results reflect peak anxiety for the crypto markets following weeks of relentless sell-offs and asset prices. And this just in, Bitcoin exchange balance is the lowest since 2018, which you can see here brought to you by Glassnode Analytics. Also like to point out, if you currently have your Bitcoin on the exchanges, remove it as soon as possible, not your keys, not your cheese. You want to put it somewhere safe, such as cold storage. And quoting Dennis Porter here, when Bitcoin hits $10 million, we'll all wonder why anyone complained about this drop to 21K. He makes a great point. And Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock the flow model, updated us this morning. Capitulation, Bitcoin sellers realized negative $25 billion, which is a negative 39% loss in June on chain, similar to November 2018, January 2015, and September 2011, which you can see in the dark blue. Also like to point out that the stock flow model is predicting a $500,000 Bitcoin price post 2024 having. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the stock the flow and quoting Max Kaiser in his most recent prediction. Bitcoin at 69,000 was telegraphing a huge inflation spike. The Bitcoin pullback to 18,000 was telegraphing the collapse of DeFi. The rally to new all-time highs is now telegraphing a major sovereign acquiring a 300,000 Bitcoin position. So there you have it. This would be absolutely major as Bitcoin game theory is in full effect. Now, what are your thoughts surrounding this major sovereign that he is referring to. Let me know if you have any insights in the comments right down below. And before I break down next story of the day, billionaire Shamath P issues crypto warning and predicts industry's honeypots will be exposed. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, all the major cryptos are currently pumping. And in the green, Bitcoin up 1.1%, trading just above $21,400. We have Ether up 2.5%, trading just above $1,200, while Binance Coin, Solana, Polkadot, XRP, and Cardano are all pumping and in the green. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Billionaire venture capitalist Shamath P says a new phase of cleansing is coming to the crypto markets. In his latest All In podcast, the serial entrepreneur says one day lawsuits could be filed against those involved in unfair or immoral token sales, given much of the industry a bad look. Quoting him here, wait until these token sale things get litigated. I mean, the amount of grift by so many of these venture firms running these sketchy deals where they put in some amount of money. This is my understanding of the scam because it was explained to me. You put in a little bit of the equity and at some crazy price, then you get these tokens and apparently you can sell these tokens day one. So what happens is you price the equity, but it's meaningless because really what you're getting is the right to get some of the amount of tokens. Prices go crazy. You sell it and walk away. You can do these deals where you just rinse and repeat these things. Wait till that gets exposed. Now, Shamath P also says that regulators might have a field day looking into some of the industry's infrastructure behind the scenes that may or may not be involved in insider trading. Quoting him again here, if they really want to find the honeypots here, it's the worst kept secret in crypto. How much insider trading is going on amongst the organizations that run the exchanges and their side pockets that they use to manage liquidity? I mean, this is the biggest thing that's been happening in crypto. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Shamath P. And to watch this entire interview, with the Bitcoin OG himself. Check the show notes below the video in the description. And before I break down next story of the day, analysts who nailed the May 2021 Bitcoin collapse unveils massive Bitcoin price target and shares how long traders may have to wait. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sent just under that $1 trillion milestone with just above $50 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. The current Bitcoin dominance is 42 0.4% with the Ether dominance at 15.6%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours, we have GMT leading the pack up 22%, trading at $1.03, followed by ApeCoin up 17%, trading at $5.12, followed by the Sandbox up 13.5%, trading at $1.29. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the past week, you can see a sea of green with virtually nothing in the red. We have Comp up 83 0.8%, GMT up 64.8%, and Matic up 70. 
0.7%. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we are currently rated a 14 in Extreme Fear. Yesterday a 14, last week a 6, and last month a 12 in Extreme Fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, Extreme Fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That could be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The closely tracked crypto strategist who accurately called Bitcoin's May 2021 crash says he could see BTC rising exponentially in the coming years. Dave the Wave tells his 118,000 Twitter followers that based on his log curve model, Bitcoin could potentially witness an increase of over 1,100% over the next four years. Quoting him here, who's to say we don't get something like this? The main idea at play in this chart is the multi-year trend line cutting through the LGC functions as as a mean of price. And in this chart, it shows you the Bitcoin price soaring to $260,000 per BTC. Satoshi Babe responded that would put Bitcoin at around $250,000 in 2026. Dave DeWave responded over a 1,000% increase from here. So yeah, looking at the chart, the crypto strategist predicts a sustained Bitcoin rally to $260,000 by 2026. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the crypto analysts. And in addition to predicting the May 2021 collapse, Dave DeWave also called Bitcoin's capitulation at around $25,000 in April of this year when Bitcoin was trading at around 43 k Now, in both instances, the crypto strategist relied on the LGC model. Now, Dave the Wave highlights that the LGC has been predicting the tops and bottoms of Bitcoin since 2018, as he shares here. Well, unsurprisingly, they were thought to be conservative in 2018 when first employed. That price has now tracked the height and the depth of those curves for a few good years should make them less surprising, though perhaps still undesirable for some. Now, as for a short-term outlook on the King Crypto, the analyst says that Bitcoin is gearing up for a rally to hit his $25,000 target. As he shares here, Bitcoin is on a longer-term buy zone for investors. Technical analysts on the shorter term, always more speculative, $25,000 target. So there you have it. Do you feel we're likely to hit 25 k here in the short term, as he predicts here in this chart, as well as his long-term target of a $260,000 Bitcoin price? How let your boy in the comments below. And before I break down final story of the day, former crypto billionaire Tim Draper insists Bitcoin will soar to $250,000 within the next 18 months. But before I break this down, first I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,200 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications and help support us with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes. And if you're listening to the pod, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at cryptonewsalerts.net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me all across social media from Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, TikTok, and Instagram. So wherever you're at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day during an interview with Forbes in January of this year, the venture capitalist Tim Draper offered an ambitious prediction. Bitcoin would hit a whopping $250,000 within a year. And at the time, Bitcoin was worth $41,000. Quoting him here, this is the year it's going to happen, insisted Draper, who paid $18.7 million at a U.S. Marshall Service auction in 2014 for his stash of around 30,000 Bitcoins. Yes, that means he paid $623 per Bitcoin. Not too shabby, eh? So yeah, he says by the end of this year or by early next year, the latest expect a quarter million dollar Bitcoin price. But do keep in mind that Draper's prediction isn't panning out thus far. Bitcoin has lost more than half of its value since the start of the year, plunging from 47,000 on New Year's Day to around 20,000. And he is one of four crypto moguls who are no longer billionaires thanks to the digital currency's crash. But Draper isn't backing off. Reached over email, Draper reiterated his price target. I am more convinced than ever that it is happening, he said by late 2022 or early 2023. Now, since early March, these 11 people have the most money in crypto, an aggregate of $61 billion over the last three months, and only seven are still billionaires. You can see the Binance CEO leading the pack back in March. His net worth was $65 billion, followed by Sam Bankman Fried, the FTX CEO, with a net worth of $24 billion, followed by Coinbase's CEO Brian Armstrong with a net worth of $6 
$4.6 billion, followed by Chris Larson of Ripple at $4.3 billion, followed by the Winklevoss twins, the owners of Gemini, worth $4 billion, followed by Jeb McCaleb, who is the co-founder of Ripple and Stellar Lumens at $2.5 billion, followed by Coinbase's Fred Ersham at $2.1 billion, followed by MicroStrategy's CEO Michael Saylor at $1.6 billion, followed by Matthew Rozak of Crypto Investments at $1.4 billion, followed by Tim Draper with $1.2 billion. But do note, three months later, Later, that net worth is now down to 647 million, but not too shabby. And I know with him hodling, it's only a matter of time before it surpasses 1 billion. Once again, now Fred Eshram, co-founder and former president of crypto exchange Coinbase, insists that the market meltdown is nothing more than growing pains. Quitting him here, one thing most people don't fully grasp, it takes years, often decades, to go from a new infrastructure level technology breakthrough like crypto to a vibrant ecosystem of mainstream applications, he tweeted earlier in the week. Now the 34-year-old computer whiz is now worth an estimated $900 million, down from $2.1 billion back in March. Now let's discuss the Winklevoss twins, the Bitcoin investor twin brothers and founders of crypto trading firm Gemini have also seen their fortunes fall from an estimated $4 billion in March to $3.2 billion now. They laid off 10% of Gemini's staff on June 2nd, citing the crypto winter, but they haven't let the market implosion cramp their style. While the Winklevoss twins are playing rockstar, Sam Bankman Freed, the richest person currently in crypto, is going for a different role. Industry savior earlier this week, the 30-year-old founder of trading juggernaut FTX extended huge loans to embattled crypto companies, $250 million to crypto lender BlockFi, and nearly $500 million, including $300 million in Bitcoin. Of course, the brokerage Voyeur Digital. Quoting him here, we take our duty seriously to protect the digital asset ecosystem and its customers, he recently tweeted. Now, Sam bankman frieds estimated fortune has only dipped a few billion dollars since March from $24 billion to $20 billion, mostly thanks to FTX's $32 billion valuation from its latest funding round in January. Meanwhile, crypto Crypto's former richest person, Xiangping Zhao, or CZ, founder and CEO of Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, is in a tongue-in-cheek mood. I am most bullish in bear markets, he tweeted on Thursday, which was followed immediately by a second post, not financial advice. That may have been a joke, but CZ has good reason to offer such disclosures. The SEC has opened a probe into Binance's initial coin offering. Bloomberg reported earlier this month, CZ's company is also under investigation by the U.S. Justice Department, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and the IRS talk about being shaken down. Now, amongst crypto billionaires, Xiao is the biggest loser in percentage and dollar terms since March 11th. Then CZ estimated fortune of $65 billion made him the 19th richest person in the world. Today, he is worth an estimated $18.7 billion. Not that he cares the slightest. I don't really know what my net worth is. I am not too bothered about it, he told Forbes last summer. Now, Michael Saylor, a true Bitcoin believer whose software company MicroStrategy has spent about $4 billion on Bitcoin investments in the last few years, has taken a different approach. Going Going on the offensive, the 57-year-old software entrepreneur has been bombarding Twitter with bullish posts and even made recent television appearances on CNN, Fox Business, and Bloomberg, where he shrugged off concerns about his company's balance sheet. And in March, MicroStrategy borrowed $205 million against its own Bitcoin to buy, you guessed it, more Bitcoin. Now, Saylor is another ex-billionaire, according to Forbes, worth a little over $700 million. MicroStrategy's stock is down 56% since early March compared to the Nasdaq's index 14% dip over the same period period, but Saylor hasn't sold any of his precious Bitcoin, not a single Satoshi, he told CNN anchor Julia Chatterley this week, invoking a little known term for Bitcoin's smallest unit, one Satoshi, which is worth one one millionth of a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to outlast all of us, Saylor insisted. I'm quite sure of that. And quoting CZ, the Binance CEO, about Tim Draper, legendary Tim Draper bought lots of Bitcoin at around 650 bucks, and they'll say, easy come, easy go to him. Now when it's 21,000, actually his Bitcoins dropped to 200 bucks at one point. People were laughing at him. Who's laughing now? That's right. Who gets the last laugh? Now for a quick recap, what I cover with you here in today's show, small-time investors achieve the one Bitcoin dream as Bitcoin holds the $20,000 range. Also in today's show, we discuss billionaire Shamath P issues a crypto warning and predicts industry's honeypots will be exposed, as well as the analyst who nailed the May 2021 Bitcoin collapse unveils a massive Bitcoin price target of $260,000. And we also discuss former crypto billionaire Tim Draper insisting Bitcoin will soar to a 
quarter million dollars within the next 18 months. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, the pay window wrote, awesome as always, JV, your comments about the article and CCP's warning on Bitcoin could be said about the US government too. Both are afraid of Bitcoin because it can't be controlled by them. Exactly, fam, 100% engineered FUD by the powers that be. Hoddle. Our next featured comment comes from TJ Mooney, who wrote, open-minded, educated investors acquire Bitcoin to get away from dollars, not gain more. Invest like Michael Saylor or live with regrets forever. You got it, TJ. Keep stacking them sats, fam. And our third and final featured comment comes from Poseidon Lottery. I moved 90% from Coinbase to Trust Wallet, not liking how they're handling things. Yeah, keeping crypto on exchanges is too risky, in my honest opinion. Coal storage is the way to go. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.